Hi, Steve. Hi, Bertrand. How are you doing? Good. How are you? It's been a while. Yes, well, it has. I see you every year at the summit. Yeah, it's been a good MVP summit this year. Yeah, it's been amazing. So what have you been working on lately? Um, well, I'm, I'm working a lot with ASP.NET Core, yeah. and um, I'm doing some work with the official docs that are... Yeah, um, you're working with the ASP.NET Core team. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and their docs are open source now, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So anyone can go on GitHub and take a look at them and, mm -hmm. and contribute, pick up an issue, and you know, add, add some content or even work on a full article. Yeah, it's one of the best ways to get started with a project, actually, is to write documentation. Certainly. And people shouldn't be afraid of not knowing the product in depth, necessarily. Because what you can do is pick up something, try to understand it, and when you do, you write the documentation for it. Yeah. So it's a great way to learn, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, and a good way to get started in open source. Like, if you've not done open source before, uh, maybe you find a typo or, or something that's you know missing some punctuation. That too. You can just file an issue or you yep. can do a pull request yep. and, and fix it. Uh, and, and we get a lot of uh, contributions from the community that way. Yeah, there is no contribution that is too small. Sure. Yep. Yep. And, and, and even just issues. Like you don't have to actually write any code. Just putting in a question and saying yep. like you know why isn't this covered or where would I look for that is is helpful for us. Filing an issue is a contribution. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, what else? Um, I'm, I'm doing training and consulting um, for myself uh, mm -hmm. on, on ASP.NET Core, on yep. domain-driven design, which I, I uh, have done for a lot of clients. So, so that's been fun. Uh, and it's, it's November right now when we're, when we're talking, and I've just got the software craftsmanship calendars. Um, oh, yeah. You do that, that every, the, every year. Yeah, we, this will be the sixth one. Um, yeah. And so they're available now from... Uh, my, my company, deviq.com, has a store. So it's store.deviq.com if people want to pick them up. We had a Kickstarter, and so we had uh, like 150 oh. people back the Kickstarter, and they're all going to get their calendars here in the next couple of weeks. Nice. I yeah. didn't know it was a Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, we did a Kickstarter last year, and we did one this year, and they were both, both successful. This year's calendar, for folks that haven't seen it before, is sort of like a greatest hits version. Mm -hmm. So the Kickstarter, depending on how high we got, we would add that many more new uh, pictures and, and topics, um, and so we've we've got one new topic, and and the rest are like pe ones that are the best from the previous five calendars. Okay, you work with it always the same designer, or I, I, this is the first year we've had the same designer twice in a yeah. row. Every single year, the designer like has changed. So, okay, cool. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I think I think things are exciting with Microsoft. I'm excited yeah. to be yeah. doing stuff with .NET Core. Um, ASP.NET Core is awesome compared to legacy ASP.NET. You know, uh, I've been working with ASP.NET and ASP my whole career. And What's your favorite feature of ASP.NET Core? Honestly, the thing that's coolest to me. Uh, I'm really into testing and writing quality code yep. and, and being able to have stuff that's decoupled so that you can you know, swap it out and replace yep. it. Uh, one of the coolest features that doesn't get a lot of airtime is the test host. Uh, that's available as, as part of the hosting package. And what you do with test host is you can spin up uh, an actual web server in memory um, and configure it however you want. And so for integration testing, this is awesome because in MVC5, Web API 2, if you want to test a controller method, you can write a unit test for that. Uh -huh. But if it's got filters or attributes applied to it or anything like that, any, or you want to test its route, you can't test any of that with a unit test. The only way you can test it yep. is with uh, like a web test or something mm -hmm. like that that actually goes over the wire. Yep. Well, with test hosts, you can do all of that full stack MVC testing, test the routes, test the filters, test the security is working um, with an integration test, but it's as fast and easy to set up as a unit test would be by just using a test host in your, in your unit test. As fast as a unit test. Yeah, they're like 10 milliseconds to run. Wow. They, don't, they don't go over the network. They're never going to get blocked by your firewall. You don't have to worry about which ports are open. There's not, not all that headache you get when you're running actual integration tests over the wire. It just runs in memory, so it's super fast. That's actually pretty amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. There's docs on it on, on the ASP.NET docs under testing controllers and integration testing. How far can you go? Can you, I mean, so you, you replay interactions with the browser? How do you? It's not browser-based at all. It's, it's, it's all in your code. It's, it's HTTP client-based. So the actual okay, so you replay a request. Yeah, you, you make a, a client request. They, the test host is nice because it actually gives you a client. Like it has a property to give you a client that mm -hmm. is already configured to talk to it. Okay. So you don't have to do any work of figuring out I what see. URL to use or anything like that. It just yeah, exactly. it hands you one, and you're like, okay, I have a client. Make a request to this path. 
like, you know, whack home, whack about or whatever. And, and then you get the response. So, yeah, it's, it's really straightforward to use. Um, and once you've got it, once you got it set up. Well, you see, I didn't know about it. Yeah. So yeah, people don't know about it. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, anything else in ASP.NET Core that you're excited about? Maybe future features or uh, well, with things you're waiting of, for? The, the new uh, output caching stuff is good. That was missing in 1.0. Mm. It's there in 1.1. Yeah. Um, and caching is a huge thing for most web applications. So that, that's a nice one, too. Yeah, and a lot of nice middleware that's getting shipped now yep. in, in the new version. So yeah. All right. Excellent. Well, thank you, Steve. All right. Thank and you. It's good talking to you. I'll see. Likewise, I'll see you next year. I'm sure. OK. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.